So, Pammy, are you filling out the census form or is Gary? No, Gary will, because it'll go, he's person number one, yeah. then comes me, husband then like, Paul, then kids, Shane, kids, then Daniela, kids. and then Ryan. The thing is, for me, I'm filling it out, but in the like the relationship section, there's nothing about it being my parents, so it's like they're not talking about aged care. So, in, like, relationship to person one, I'm thinking about putting down, like, for Dawn, sort of cold, re remote, and for Joker, I'll put, you know, Possibly violent. <laughs> it's not a bloody joke, Mel. Just make the form work for yourself. They can't accommodate everybody. Uh, yeah, so just make it work. They can't accommodate anybody, Colin. I mean, what's the point? Really, what is what, the point? Do I have of to it? spell out what is the point of having spell a census it out form? For me. Well, why do you think we have a census form? Well, yeah, yeah, so yeah. we know where we put hospitals, where we put police stations. <laughs> what's going with no, the they, schools? No, they, they, they can work out where they can close down the hospitals and close down the schools and close down. Did you know my mother has to wait two years to get into a nursing home? We've got an ageing population, she's waiting two years to get in, and they're still closing them. So this is a joke, mate. Did you know that that's how Jews were identified during the Second World War? Mm. Actually, look at religion. No Jewishness there whatsoever. Is, is that because it's considered a race more than a religion? No, it's a, well, it's a religion. Yeah. I know what I'm putting down. I'm being a bunging Jedi in religion. Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> You're a Catholic. No, I'm converting to the Force. No, if you do that, you could get in trouble. Oh, oh. Colin, in the paper yesterday, they said that if I truly believed it, I wouldn't be fine. <laughs> the Force is with me, Colin. The Force is with me. Oh, did you hear Christopher Skase died? Oh, yes. Yeah. Can you believe that? Well, it's extraordinary. It's finally kind of happened. I mean, he was a person who was always crying wolf, you know, always saying there was something wrong with him, and nobody believed him. But he really was sick. But it's, it, it's a classic case of karma. No, some people are saying that, you know, it's a bit sad. I mean, I don't know any, I don't know any of them, don't get me wrong, but I think it's kind of sad that he was just one of those corporate cowboys of the 80s, of which there were, were many of them, and he just kind of, you know, was doing what everybody else was doing. Well, there's, there's, there's two roads that you could take. Alan mm. Bond took one, he went to prison, he took responsibility for what he did. He's Not, now out of prison, yeah, didn't go beginning very long. another part of his life. It is now an underdog, so nothing surer. He'll become icon status again. Skase, on the other hand, created his own prison by not taking responsibility. Apparently Pixie's pretty upset. She's pretty upset because he won't be buried in this country and she's very upset because she thinks that the Australian people and the Australian government, I don't know about the Australian people, but certainly the Australian government, perhaps caused his death in the first place. Oh, how? Because the less we believed him, the more he had to convince us? That's what brought it on. And the question that begs my mind at the moment is, does, I mean, the first thing I thought was, is Pixie now responsible for the, for the millions and oh. millions and millions of dollars? So you're saying the chase is still on? Well, is it just a chase for a different case?